Most people in California don't even know about one of America's worst nuclear meltdowns that happened only 30 miles from downtown Los Angeles at the Santa Susana Field Lab. The sodium reactor experiment, or SRE, is thought to have released more radiation into the environment than even the Three Mile Island meltdown, mainly because the SRE didn't have a containment structure. And when the SRE began overheating, workers were ordered to vent all of the radioactive gases out through the windows and doors. But the SRE wasn't the only incident at the Santa Susana Field Lab. There were leaks, fires, spills, explosions, and dangerous waste practices that released radioactive material into the environment. The SSFL hosted 10 nuclear reactors. In addition to the SRE meltdown, three other reactors had major incidents on site. Accidents were documented at the metals test lab, the drainage pond, the storage facility, the critical experiment lab, the SNAP critical facility, and multiple out of control fires occurred at the hot lab. They also burned radioactive waste in an open air burn pit. Additionally, the site had a plutonium and a uranium fuel facility. Just a reminder about plutonium 239, which has been found loose in the soil on site, it has a 24,000 year half-life. And if you breathe trace amounts of it, you are almost guaranteed to get lung cancer. The Department of Energy is responsible for the area forest cleanup, but they claim they're being held to unfair, i.e. expensive cleanup standards. They feel they should be allowed to leave as much radiation in the soil as they want. But Parents Against Santa Susana Field Lab continues to fight for the complete cleanup because we know it's the only way to protect the environment, the water, the wildlife, and people especially children who live nearby. To learn more about the Santa Susana Field Lab, be sure to follow.